007 Racing, the Collector's Edition. Be Bond, behind the wheel. Like, we've, we've all seen the James Bond films, right? I'm, I'm not sure the creators of this game have, though. Because, as we all know, James Bond is the best driver on Earth. He can pilot a vehicle like an F1 championship driver while drinking martinis and shagging hot chicks behind the wheel, blowing up helicopters with missiles, unleashing oil slicks, all while spinning on the ice backwards and dodging lasers from space. It's James Bond. But this game just throws all of that awesomeness out the window and has you piloting vehicles that control, like, Kit from Knight Rider Wasted. Now, keep in mind, this is a PlayStation 1 game, 007 Racing, from the year 2000. Looks like it was released in 1994, but... Well, he won't be hanging around. For one dollar, I really did not expect that much. I expected a bit of 007 Racing. And instead, it's like a really poorly produced remake of V8 Vigilante or something. Well, it seems we've cleared custom series. Uh, thank you, Mr. Bond. Call me that's James. not James Bond, that's Cookie Monster wearing a human suit. Seriously, they look like Muppets. This game would have been twice as good were it called Cookie Monster Racing. License to eat cookies. But as it is, this game is merely called 007 Racing License to Suck. Collector's Edition. Conceptually, I think this game is awesome, but it really falls apart with controls. Bad, horrible, sloppy controls. Even James Bond will tell you. Control. You must learn con- wait, no, that was Star Wars. Hey, Jimmy. Looks like you're in a bit of a pickle. Get the car to Hudson Bay Harbor and get us down the river. As you might expect from the gameplay, you drive in a variety of missions. Sometimes you're just trying to reach checkpoints without exploding. Other times you have to defeat an army of bad guys. And in order to do that, you use a variety of weapons like machine guns, rocket launchers, oil slicks, smoke screen. Every time you pick up an item, though, it automatically makes that your default item. So you'll be driving around machine gunning something, and then you'll pick up a missile and accidentally start firing rockets into something right next to you and blow your car up. The driving itself is really sloppy. This isn't a driving game, but it's also not an action game, so it really doesn't know what it wants to be. If you ever run into something or hit another car and, to, and stop, it literally takes several seconds to just start your car moving again. So when enemies run into you and you want to blow them up with a missile, you have to back up, which takes quite a bit of time, and then try to shoot a missile at them from a distance, but it's, it's just all very clumsy and in the end it's not fun. Maybe if you got this game when you were a kid, you'd, you'd look past all of this and probably had a great time playing it, because conceptually it's, it's terrific. Conceptually, this game is right up there with the Ghetto Blaster from The Living Daylights. Something Q was working on for the Americans. Thanks, Q. Always thinking of us. Now, granted, I, I didn't get very far in this game. I just couldn't stand it. I, I really hope that the AMCs from Man with the Golden Gun are in here, though. Remember the one that Scaramanga and Tattoo attached to the, uh, to the plane with Goodnight in the trunk? Yeah! Oh, that's a classic. The Man with the Golden Gun. One of the best Bond films. Bond was so Lando in that movie, hooking up with Octopussy while Goodnight listened to the whole thing from the closet. Sadly, all of that James Bond awesomeness is lost in this game. Instead, you'll be fighting with your controller to fire missiles at forklifts, but you can only hit them from the back. Those are some powerful forklifts. Save your one dollar. You'd be better off spending it on a VHS tape of Moonraker. Oh, and pay attention to the last shot in this review. Are we driving in Jersey City or Manhattan? And who exactly moved the Statue of Liberty? It's a good thing I asked for the water damage waiver. Well, that was a splashing success. That's years worth of patient research wasted. Terribly disappointing, 007.